on the way to the flat now. All right, I'll see you inside. I'm honestly sweating right now. It's just been non-stop for about an hour and I'm like, rest, rest, rest. They just want to keep going. <sighs> so no second trip needed. We managed to fit everything in three cars. I hope Stitch will be okay. This is basically what the room looks like now. Honestly, I am so flustered right now. Ugh, I just can't even think straight. I can't talk properly. I'm... I don't know. It hasn't really fully hit me that I've just moved into my own place. There's just so much on my mind I've got to do. I've got to do the meter readings. I've got to make sure mum's okay, my dad's okay. Bless them, they just want to be here for me. They just want to really support me and my move. I feel really grateful for that. I just haven't eaten anything all day. Oh, there's just a lot of things going on. Um, so dad and I are here. Um, he's downstairs. And then my stepdad and my mum will be joining me a bit later and bringing us some lunch. So I will be giving the full tour very, very soon. So stick around for that, okay? Right now, I need to just get something to drink and move the rest of my belongings up. And another trip. So that's all done. High five. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. How many men does it take? <laughs> <laughs> this is my new wardrobe it's really 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 tall and i've literally just chucked stuff in because we needed to walk in and out i found that the previous person living here did put that on there i'm just trying to figure out how to actually organize this stay tuned oh it's now 10 30 and we've finished with the flat unpacking so we've basically done from 10 a.m ish to 10 30. yeah full 12 hours ready to sleep and i'll see you tomorrow